This one's going to be kind of a uh, just a simple one. It's the Forrester Neck Tension Gauge Inspection Tool. It's a, it's a mouthful. Uh, full disclosure, I did not pay for these, but then I'm also not doing this for Forrester. Um, somebody I know sent me these to play with, and um, you know, so take it for what it's worth. Uh, this is the full kit, all five uh, calibers. So you got 308, 224, 264, 243, and 284. You can buy these individually. So like in my case, I only do 284, so I would probably just end up getting the 284 um, by itself. Uh, but if you do a bunch of different calibers, it definitely pays off. Each one of these has four different diameters on it. So in the case of, you know, 308, you've got um, 304, 5, 6, and 7. And, and then, you know, in my case for 284, uh, I'm going to have 280, 81, 82, and 83. There are no half increments. Uh, so just keep that in mind. It's, it's only full thousandths increments. Uh, that's fine, but, you know, just so you know. Uh, my previous method has been to use gauge pins. So I've got all these gauge pins in here, you know, and I've got them labeled with tape because they're hard to read. But, you know, 281, 83, 78, you know, 82 plus, 82 minus. I've got, you know, depending on what I want to do, I've got different sizes. Some people have a better organization or, you know, kit of gauge pins that they can use. But gauge pins really have been the only way to get a quick and easy read on internal diameter of um, case necks. Uh, you can use calipers, it's just not as, as accurate as using a gauge pin. And in cases where you're sizing or expanding very small amounts, that makes a difference. So one of the things that I have used gauge pins for, obviously I use gauge pins uh, to expand my necks. I, I have a whole set of those that are ground down that go inside a, a Porter Precision um, expander die. But I do have these gauge pins for times where I want to see, you know, either how good my reloading process is, or honestly, sometimes you put you put aside some process brass and you don't remember did I did I size it, did I expand it, what did I do? So you got to dig through your gauge pins and figure it out. Well, I, I've been using these for a little bit now. Um, I've had them for maybe like a month, and it's con <laughs> it's surprisingly convenient to just have this one thing sitting around. So that I, you know, I know, for instance, that my fired brass is going to measure right up to the 281 here, okay? And so if I happen to grab something and I say, well, I don't remember if I actually process this or not, I can hit it with this and go, okay, well, it's barely going over the 280 and it's not going to make it to the 281, so I know that I am good to go. Uh, so that's sort of like a quick reference on using it, but the fact that it has four different diameters on here eliminates the need to have multiple pins and stuff like that. Uh, having the full kit, I think it's great. Uh, if you do a lot of stuff, like I said, uh, for me, I would love just to have this one sitting in a drawer so that I don't have to pull out all the gauge pins. The only thing that I have noticed, and, uh, and I'll just say, is that if I have something like a, a gauge pin uh, and it goes in, it, because I'm using a separate gauge pin, they can each go in the same amount of space. Now, I'm shooting a cartridge that is necked up, so it's 6.5 PRC that's been necked up to 7, especially in cartridges that are necked up, so this is a good example. You're going to end up with a donut inside, and, and to be honest, I can see my donut in there. I don't care because it doesn't affect my shooting, but my neck, if you, if you look, when this goes in, the 281 goes, and or the 280 goes, and well, this is a better example over here, so the 280 goes and the 281 goes. And I don't know how much further it would go on the 282 simply because this is now hitting my donut in here and it's stopping, okay? So it's tough to get past the 281 diameter. The 280 diameter goes through the donut. The 281 diameter is hitting my donut. So I would have to, you know, kind of force it through and then you can see it goes over and then the 282 is too big for the donut. So if I, if I would jam that in, then it might go over the 283. So measuring something with a donut can be a bit of a challenge because of this. It's one of the things where, you know, having individual gauge pins, I could put each gauge pin in until it measures and I'd have a good idea. Uh, you know, otherwise, like I said, I can, I can sort of force this in, but you know, to be honest, I can't get past this 282 without really shoving it through the donut and I don't feel like doing that. So that would be the only kind of downside that I've seen to these. But for the average user that is trying to, you know, figure out 
Um, I guess I need to put that one back where it belongs. Uh, for the average user that is going to be using these, they're probably not dealing with donuts and they're going to be able to use it effectively. Uh, a lot of people, if they have donuts, are going to be pushing them out and turning them off anyway. It's just not a process that I happen to do. Uh, but uh, aside from that, the only other thing that sort of surprised me is I was expecting them to be five different colors possibly so that you could easily identify uh, the calibers. You know, they do this kind of a black nitride looking coating or something and you, you can read the, the calibers pretty easily. Um, but I thought it would be kind of nice if each one was color coded so that if you dealt with these a lot, you could say, oh, I need the blue one or the red one or the green one um, for the cartridge that I use. Uh, but, you know, that's just kind of a, you know, wishes and butts kind of thing. Other than that, it's a pretty straightforward product. If you have a need for something like that, I think it's great. Uh, like I said, I'll be getting the uh, the 284, even though, uh, you know, I have the donut issue. For me, uh, what I can use it for, even with the donut, makes it totally worth it. Uh, so anyway, just a quick little video to show you this. I thought you guys would enjoy seeing them since I got to play with them. And uh, you guys have a good one. We'll talk later.